Welcome back to Movie Talk. Up next, we have a very special treat for you. Earlier this week, we had a chance to visit the set of 3G, the Bollywood movie currently filming in Fiji. And while there, we got to meet up with the movie star hotties, Neil Nitin Mukesh and Sonal Chauhan. Check it out. Okay, well, first up, thank you so much for being on the show tonight. And it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure having you guys. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's it been like uh, shooting in Fiji? Well, it's been like, what, just four days since we are here. We've been working on this one current location as of now. But it's been nice. I've already got a brush of how the people are. So I can say this for sure that the people around are very nice. I think the place is beautiful. We've, uh, on our drive from, uh, from Nadi to here, we experienced the water transitioning, you know, into like the blue color. It was pretty right. interesting, yeah. Is this your first time uh, being in Fiji? Yes, it is. But uh, I think it's a beautiful place and like Neil said, uh, people are really nice. Uh, there are lots of Indians here so it uh, feels like we're just home and uh, it's, it's just really beautiful and I can't wait to uh, explore. explore the yeah. other parts of Fiji because I have seen so much uh, on the internet and in the pictures that I, um, I just can't wait. Well, one thing that she's already uh, planned and she's already booked uh, is uh, skydiving. Yes. She's uh, and that too without the parachute. <laughs> I'll be waiting down there. <laughs> so, so living dangerously uh, in Fiji, it's interesting. So would you like to tell us something about this movie 3G that you are currently filming for? Uh, this is a it's a psychological uh, horror, if you know if I say. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, and uh, it's a horror. it's a, if I have to tell you a one line of the film, basically it's about this this guy who comes uh, to Fiji Islands because his girlfriend stays here. And uh, obviously they are madly in love. They are looking at a future to spending together. So that's why they are spending time here to, you know, take things forward now. And suddenly a haunting starts. And from this haunting, you know, it goes from one thing to the other. I think it's it's more on the lines of a what lies beneath, a, a sixth sense. So what kind of roles are you thinking of taking up in future? Like, is there any particular genre that you like to work towards? Like drama, comedy? I think for an actor, uh, you cannot choose uh, or you can't have limit one. Yourself, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to be versatile and be able to play every character yeah. with equal amount of ease. But uh, if you talk about uh, something that I love watching, it's love stories. If you had to name like maybe like one of your favorite horror movies, what would it be? I think Sixth Sense was quite spooky. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Neil, I heard you're a bit of a horror movie buff. I, I was doing some reading online, and Ooh, so. Shoot. I mean, you have no idea. My father and I. I have to watch one horror film a week, minimum. Okay. And my nephew is, is like, what, three years old? <laughs> and he can't, if he's in Bombay with me, he will not sleep a day without watching horror films. So I think for me, all, all kind of horror films work for me, except for the, like the ones I said. I mean, I don't really like, you know, stupid, uh, sleazy horror films. Intelligent ones are there. Exorcist is, is definitely... It's a classic. You know, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a cult. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I like uh, Nicole Kidman's The Others. Right. Then uh, there's there's a film that I don't know if many have watched, but I really like. There's a film called Dead Silence. I have. Okay. She's seen it, and yeah, she really liked it a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's a that's a bit of a classic as well. You know, it sort of, yeah. sort of comes from the whole uh, Dead Alive. And yeah, yeah. I I and and of movie I mean, I, you seem you know? to be a horror fan. I'm a massive I, horror I, movie fan. I yeah. I love Saw. Saw. Okay. Saw, Saw series, because Saw okay. is also like again like Saw is is not supernatural. But it's again mind game, you know. So it's I. But you put that film in a, in in the genre of a horror. Well, one one thing I liked about Saw was that I, I feel like it sort of made horror a bit more mainstream. Yes, you know, exactly a lot of people I mean. who didn't watch horror watched it for I mean, the smartness. I mean, that's that's exactly what we are trying to target with at this film. I mean, uh, uh, horror is not just ghosts. Right. You know, it's not just about uh, um, dead people walking around. Mm. Yes, it used to be. But horror has also gone into a personal scare zone. So if you're scared about something, if you fear something, it instantly gets you into the horror zone. I think Saw takes you in that space. Not that uh, 3G has any less of all that. Right. Uh, it's, it's got a mix of quite a few things. Yeah. So I think 3G will be the first uh, of its kind in India 
in Indian cinema for sure, yeah. When, whenever I think of uh, Bollywood horror movies, the first one that comes to mind is Punari, Man, Punari oh, Mandir. Punara Mandir. Punara Mandir. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, yeah, Punara Mandir. That's Purana. Purana. Purana Mandir. Oh, I'm getting an Indian lesson, a Hindustani <laughs> lesson now from, uh, from these Bollywood stars. Thank you very much. I've seen you do serious roles, uh, roles in most of your movies. Right. So is this a choice on your part or is it that uh, you haven't been offered any good comedy roles? You know, I mean, I have been offered a lot of kind of films. But uh, the choices of films I made up till now have been clearly very conscious of decision up till now because uh, I take uh, my profession rather seriously and I initially I want to give it a lot, you know, to uh, to embed it into people's mind that okay this guy can act and you know and besides no, more than anything else it's my personal choice of, of cinema. Uh, I like doing characters that are layered for sure. I don't like the you know one track uh, characters at all. There's no play, there's no no fun in, in portraying characters, you know like that. I've been offered a lot of comedies but they're all senseless and uh, uh, stupid comedies Some which I don't, don't enjoy watching. Yeah, I mean, well, I I wouldn't want to be a part of a film like that. Like it doesn't matter to me to you know do a film which has a 10 minute role like Saath Khun Maaf. But uh, I think uh, Major Edwin Roderick's uh, character was was very well crafted out at that point of time. Thank so, you so thank you. <laughs> so I think uh, it's not, it's not definitely it's not the length of, of the uh, of the role, you know, but the strength. And uh, I I think uh, layers is something that I like. Yeah. In terms of acting, you know, not long ago you were crowned uh, in 2005, I believe you were crowned uh, Miss World Tourism. That's right. Was it? Yeah. Back then. Looking in, would you ever thought you'd be doing this for a living, making movies? No. <laughs> no, but that's not because I wasn't interested. It's just the kind of family that I come from. I never imagined that my parents would allow me to get into the movies, so even modeling for that matter. But I think after I started modeling, they were not they were not so fine with it. It's only after I won the crown and they realized that uh, I am getting the risk, kind of respect that they, they would want me to get is when things became much easier and uh, I was always very fascinated by the glamour world and I used to flip through magazines but I never ever imagined myself in it only purely because I knew that I knew the kind of family that I come from. Thank God this mistake happened. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. I know you've worked with Amitabh Bachchan and, and he's, a, he's a huge, I'm a, if I could meet one Star. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I've met you, but if I could meet like a Bollywood star, I would love yeah. to meet Amitabh no, Bachchan, you know? I, I think he's the only oh, yeah. man I also idolize. Right. In fact, he's the only personality that I look up to as far as films are concerned. Yeah, Absolutely. Mr. Bachchan, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Not for anything Undoubted. else, but uh, for everything that he's achieved. Right. And f uh, for all the highs and lows that he's been through yeah, his of life. Course, the kind of man. And still uh, going absolutely strong and standing with his head held high. Absolutely. Tufan would be my favorite Amitabh Bachchan movie. Yeah. Because I, I saw it when I was really yeah. young and he was like, you know, he was a Bollywood, yeah, Tufan, Bhaga, Bhaga, there you go, yeah, that's, yeah. And um, I used to like uh, Shensha as well, you know, so it's all, I guess everything that I watched, he was like, he was, like my, he was my, my first superhero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah definitely, I think Mr. Bachchan doesn't need to get into a costume to be a superhero. Definitely. Yeah. He's, he's a superhero. But I used to read his comic books as well. You know, he, used to, he used to have a Amitabh Bachchan comic yeah, yeah, book. Do you yeah. ever see those? Yeah, yeah. You think they'll ever do a comic book for you? Um, you know, cause I've, I've seen some of your some of your pictures on on, um, on Google. You know, when you're, yeah. you're posing with your flexing yeah. muscles and things yeah. like that. You know, so well, you reckon you'd be able to do a superhero which, role? Which character would they make me? Into? <laughs> Yeah, let's see. <laughs> they'll, make love a new, it. they'll make a new character for you. Neil, so you're a good singer as well. Can you sing something for us? Your favorite song, maybe. Okay, she's gonna give me company. No. Right. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, no. it'll, be, it'll be a duet. Come on, it'll be a duet. It'll song. be awesome. I need to tell you this. No. She is a no, I'm fabulous not. singer. <laughs> She's a fabulous singer and she's going to give me company with Why this Why don't you, she wants you to sing a song for her. And I want you also to sing with yeah, me. So I'll sing later, why don't you? So both of us together, come. Why don't four of us sing together? Okay. How about that? It's, it's a song my grandfather Love sang. Bass. And it's, it's, uh, it's Mr. Bachchan's song again. Okay. I think it's one of, I think everyone's one of the most favorite songs. Mm, sing. Which one? Oh, so you start. Okay. Mm. कभी कभी मेरे दिल में ख्याल आता है कि जैसे तुझको बनाया गया है मेरे लिए हम अब से पहले 
सितारों में बस रही थे कहीं यू सिंगिंग हम अब से पहले पहले सितारों में बस रहे थे कहीं हमें जमीन पर बुलाया गया है तेरे लिए थैंक यू Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you. 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 Whatever. <laughs> well, it's break time now, but before we go, we have five movie passes to give away. And this week, all you have to do to win one is tell us who sang the Men in Black theme song for the first two movies. Here's a hint: he's also the star of the Men in Black movies. Text your answers to eight one six for Vodafone and Ink users, or ten ten for Digicel. Winners will be drawn by the end of the show. Don't go away. After the break, we'll be looking at Iron Sky, the new alternate history sci-fi movie releasing this coming week. And we visit the theaters to see what's hot at the movies.